Hello everybody and welcome to, to this afternoon's stream here on a Sunday. Now today I have decided I will play some more Pokemon Sword Isle of Armor DLC and I'll play some Tales of Berseria as well. Depending on how long those games get played for we might do it a bit longer but we'll wait and see shall we. Um, so first of all get to the console. Now I didn't actually close, I don't really turn my switch off so I don't normally close the game off, games I'm playing off either. So here we are, straight in. Um, I'm going to want to resize my window here since I'll be using it from the um, capture software rather than through a TV. And I think we're about just a bit more. Yes. All right, and the switch just went off by itself. <laughs> In case you're wondering why the screen went dark. But will it actually turn on? Imagine if my switch broke now. Boy, that would suck. Where's that power button? There we go. So here we are, back on the Alabama, and I appear to be online because random people are here. Hello, sir. Konnichiwa. A wild Pokemon was holding this when I caught it. Take it. A pack of fried food. Alright, that's a good start. Do you think Pokemon like these things too? I'm sure they do. So yeah, we got the slow pokes and a Kingler. Oh wow, look over there. Wow, a whale lord that's actually big. I'm shocked. <laughs> oh, don't know if I have one of these yet. Toxapex or Toxapex, and this is a not a good matchup at all. Right, okay, where are we at? Now I think the only thing I really have is Susie. But she's also weak to poison. But Toxi Toxapex is a um, defensive focus Pokemon, so it doesn't have the best attack, so maybe we'll be alright. Liquidation. Yeah, we're fine. We are fine. Susie is more than enough for this. Just take it out with a psychic blast. One shot. Very nice. So yeah, hopefully my Baneri will evolve this stream. I mean, it should do. We can get a lot of battles done in about half an hour. Now let's get ourselves a little rock rough pal, shall we? A little doggo. Right, so what shall I do with Marnie? Um... Play rough, I guess. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it knows a big, strong move like Crunch, but it doesn't really do much. Rest in peace, <laughs> I guess. Oh, I didn't think that would be that difficult to catch. Well, it'd be that easy to take down. Because I don't think I have Aviolite on my... Um, no, I don't want the Pokédex. But yeah, look at that. We've already caught 67 Pokémon on the Isle of Armor. Isn't that funny? Oh, we've got a lady here. Oh my gosh, I saw the most awesome Pokémon ever. I can show you its Pokédex entry for 100 watts. Sure? Have a look then. Feast your eyes on its awesome splendor. Really? Really? Tangler. Alright then. Is that not totally, completely, totally awesome? You'll find different Pokemon depending on the weather, so make sure you search every day. Well, thanks for that. I feel like I wasted my watts. Oh, well, there's a cave. Maybe I can go in there. Whoa, camera, please. 
I think we'll go explore that cave first. Wait. I thought that was a diglet. Never mind. The Courageous Cavern. Well, that sounds interesting now. <laughs> the water's pretty nice. We've got a den here. 200 watts. Okay, I made it back and some extra. That's cool. There's a diglet. Da da! Diglet returned to its trainer. You need to find six more Diglet in the Creature's Cavern. So yeah, small place. Not a lot in here. There's Tentacool. Wow, a cave of Wimpods. Armorite ore. Nice. An icy rock. Quick ball. A lot of stuff here. There's another Diglet. I put my, did I put my wheel on its head? Oh, poor thing. Turn to its trainer. There are five more Diglett in the Creature's Cavern. Uh, there's some Swoo Bats. Come on. Turn. There we go. <laughs> Took long enough. A wild Woo Bat. Pretty sure those are not on Pokedex yet. And then, right, they aren't. Use an iron head. Simple beam. Please no. Oh well, I guess it doesn't matter because it triggers all the magic at the start of battle. So I suppose any other Pokemon coming in would probably have um, would would probably have helped you against. But I'm pretty sure I can just swap out of battle and it would go back to normal anyway. Let's lost my control. There we go. Ugh. Nice and warm. Need that drink. So we caught Wubat. While inside a cave, if you look up and see lots of heart-shaped marks lining the walls, it's evidence that Wubat lived there. And a lot of them if it's a wall of them. Now, what could I call that? Pokemon, um... Wish they'd make a new Pokemon pinball. Well, you never know. Pokemon Snaps come, making a comeback. And who knows? Pokemon Pinball would be a good mobile game, wouldn't it, if you think about it? Um, sw <laughs> swiggity. Swiggity. Sw swiggity. Swoobat. <laughs> swiggity Woobat. Okay. I wasn't going to call it Swiggity Swoobat, that'd be weird. Dun it! Diglett returned to its trainer, there's four more in the Courageous Cavern. I mean, it's a small area, so I might as well try and find it all right, find all the Diglett while I'm in here. Wouldn't surprise me there was like rare Pokemon in here. Yep, that was, my, was what I was going for, Swiggity Swoody. Or in this case, Swiggity Swoobat. <laughs> An oval stone. No need that. I've already been in here, so... It's a small area, I know. I think it's disappointing that... I think it's a disappointing in a sense that... Um... Oh, what was I... where was I going with this? Wait, how do I get up there? How very odd. Does it need to be away there? Maybe I'll get something later. Oh! Pew, 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 pew. Alright, no. Pin, ch pin churching. Uh, unfortunately, HMs are not a thing in this game. Let's play rough with this little guy, shall we? I 
I mean, it's not a change I mind getting rid of TMs, because, you know, the HMs even. Because no one wanted to make a competitive team with, like, Cut or Flash on their team. Let's be honest. Oof. This thing is strong. But hopefully now I can catch it and be the end of it. Oh, no, 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 gonna happen. Rest in peace, Marnie. Oh well, when it comes to catching Pokemon, you've got to expect a few sacrifices to be made. I mean, there's not really a lot I can have that's resistant to Electric in my party at this moment in time. I think it's quite weird that I haven't found a PC in this um, aisle yet. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. If only got caught the first time, Marnie wouldn't have had to die. But my bun bun is nearly evolved. So pinchurichin. Did I already have one of these? Pin cush. <laughs> There you go, that works. Okay, go to a box, please. Kinda sucks that I had to lose Marnie there, but I can heal her. I still have lots of stuff from when I did the, um, the tournament. And it's not like I'm hurting for money right now. Yeah, I got 200,000 Poké Dollars. We're all good there. Right, so what else are we going for here? A great ball. A great ball of fire. Ah. Oh, a dragon. Oh, and a diglet. And a chancy. Ah. Uh, three more in the creature's cavern. Marnie can handle this guy no problem. And if it doesn't, she if she doesn't defeat it, I might be able to catch it. Of course, I won't go for a um, Pokeball for this thing. Much too strong for that. Play rough. Ah, it still does a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> it did. It did hang on as well. Rudigan is one of those Pokemon that I can never think of a good nickname for. Uh, should we go for a... Uh, I guess we'll go for a quick ball? Nope. <laughs> Rest in peace, Marnie, again. Oh, it doesn't affect him, though, because she's, she's a fairy. Nice. Um, how about we make it a special occasion? And we got a crit capture. Got it. I want to save a heavy ball for something truly worth it. And Arya's leveled up. Sheer cold. There we go. Surf, Ice Beam, Rain Dance, Hydro Pump. Hmm. The target faints instantly. It's less likely to hit the target if it's used by other, uh, other than ice types. So Sheer Cold is more effective against other ice types. Could be useful, but then not really for me. And now Drudigan's data is added to Pokédex. Drudigan lives in caves, but it never skips sunbathing. It won't be able to move its body if it gets too cold. What could I call this thing? Dredders. <laughs> 
Dread as Rex. <laughs> I mean, really, I could use finding a poison type. There's the diglet. Ta da! There's two more in the courageous cabin. We know where one of them is as well. We'll take the what energy. Might as well. Oh! Another technical uh, ROM. I think it's a technical ROM. Target is caused disorder into a rage that allows it to use only attack moves for three turns. I mean, if you have a resistance to the type of opponent's moves that use against you, then yeah, that could be quite good. Where are we going? I think we're going to leave the cave now via the way we came in. I probably won't look for all the diglet. I'll, I'll, any that I happen to see I'll get, but other than that, no. No, not going to do that. That's just going to take too long and be a real pain in the ass. Oh, there's Abra. Alright. This should get a level up. This should get our Baneri to evolve. If we can beat it. I'm gonna risk it. Wow, it does a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe I don't give him Morwile enough credit. I used to think Morwile was only worthwhile if you had the Mega Stone to Mega Evolve it, but... She's doing some work. Wow. If you remember, we're only getting like 4,000 for the main Pokemon and 2,000 for the others, but that's a lot. And there we go, we got our... Should get a... Oh, wait. Um, oh, yeah. I remember Lopunny only evolves when it knows... Um, what is that move? Uh, jump Kick. So if I want my... If I want my Baneri to evolve, I'm going to have to give it Teach It Jump Kick. An item held by a Pokemon. It's a well-worn belt that slightly boosts the power of super effective moves. Could be cool. Oh yeah, there's no TM guy in here. All the ones I get taught are not very good. Gotta admit, I do look a bit, <laughs> a bit strange wearing a dress <laughs> with my outfit. I don't know, maybe maybe I like this. It makes me stand out from the rest of the guys. I'm not a regular person like them. I am the champion, goddammit. So town map. Where is the TM tutor? Right. Now I've got to try and remember this. Um... Food. Move tutor, there we go. Now, I don't remember if the move tutor is actually in a random house. There you go, everyone knows I'm the champion, apart from anyone who's on, been living on an island their whole life. Remember a move. Alright, select. Now it needs to remember. Was it double kick? Maybe. So, entrainment. Facade, double kick. Makes the target's ability the same as its user. I mean, Klutz is a pretty useful one. I think it would make any Pokemon holding an item drop it.
but do I wait for a level up? Well, to be honest, I've got a load of rare candies I did not use. So let's see. Just one. 8,000 XP, huh? Okay, that didn't work. Huh. I was sure that it was a f needed to know a certain move to evolve. And I thought it might be jump kick. You'll have to give me a sec, I'm gonna look into this. Oh, high friendship. Right, okay, so that's probably not gonna happen. If I'd known that, I would've caught it in a friend ball. Oh well. What's done is done. So... I think I have a... the friendship raising bell. Be nice if that was just something that boosts friendliness without <laughs> without all the work. Uh, well, the soothe bell. All right, Bun Bun, you hold that. This could be a stream where I just get my Baneri to evolve, but you know <laughs> that doesn't make good YouTube stuff, does it? So let's head back to the Isle of Armor. Uh, so yeah, we have to go there, the warm-up tunnel. But it's a way away. So let's head, let's head. So we have to go through the soothing wetlands with the bouffalants. As you can see, there's a um, special. Oh, there's a lopany. <laughs> there you go. That's what you're aiming for, Bun Bun. Double kick. Uh oh. Avoided the attack. All right, let's let's get Lapras in there. Oh, uh, our, our, our lovely Aria. To cut with a netball. Not the most elegant capture, but I, I remember when ba I, I'm pretty sure Bounce was one of those moves that always paralyzed before. Oh god. It's gonna keep bouncing, isn't it? If it's gonna do that, I'll set up um, a power surf. Drown it in water! Surf! That was not good. <laughs> that was pretty pathetic. Anyway. High jump kick! Oh no! God damn it. So good job it isn't a stab move, or that would have probably one-shot me. Alright, let's try... Ah, oh, oh, God damn it. Well, special attacks risen. So... Well, I guess it didn't hurt itself. That's positive, I guess. Gotta go for the surf now. <laughs> I just love the way a big Pokemon like Lapras bounces around when it's flattered. Ah, <laughs> it snapped out. Now you really drown. Got him. So really, Chansey seems to be the best option for grinding levels on this aisle. At least until Ordino comes back, which will happen in the um, in the next DLC. Not a 
quick look around, see if I can find anything hidden. Oh, there's the tower. So that's the tower for the um, place where you can evolve your Pokemon. Well, the, the legendary from this DLC. Oh, Cormorant. I do love when it uses Surf or Dive with less than half its HP, it will pick out a Pikachu in its mouth. It's just like, poor thing. Ooh, serious mint. When a Pokemon smells this mint, all of its stats will grow at an equal rate. Okay. Is that good? Do I want to use that? A gla Galarica twig. A twig from a species of tree called Galarica that grows in certain areas around the Galar region. It's a material for an accessory for a certain Pokemon. Ah. Anyway, here we are, the Forest of Focus. We're on our way. And I won't bike around here. <gasps> it's a Pikachu! Pikachu! Hello! <laughs> I love how it didn't fight me. A white apricorn. It doesn't smell like anything. I don't think there are any max mushrooms this way. I need to hone my sense of direction. I, can't admit, I was kind of expecting some of these other trainers to actually battle you. I like to be held by a Pokemon. It damages the holder every turn and may latch onto the Pokemon that, that touched the holder. Whoa! Persimian! Yeah, I don't want to fight you. We're all good. Maybe they know I'm strong, that's why they're not running after me. Of course, we need to to get this. Sludge wave! Nice. What's that? Is that a corefish? I think it's a corefish. So there's no point in bothering with it, is there? Oh, Venipede. Ah! Alright, here's... Now, I'm sure my Baneri can handle this, right? Because it has bounce. Jump high in the sky! Aha, the double edge missed. Ah! But we got a paralysis on as well, so... Ah, poison point! Curse you, Venipede! Oh, well, it was going to use Toxic, so... <laughs> That's a relief. Right, so Pokeball would be enough for this. Two. Three. Gotcha. Venipede's data. Venipede and Sizzlipede are similar species, but when the two meet, a huge fight ensues. Well, of course, Sizzlipede will win, won't it? Because it's a fire type. So, what would we call the Venipede? Ven. Ventus. <laughs> uh. I know, I'll add it to my party. Certain Pokemon are getting a bit strong now, so I don't want them to get much stronger. Plus, I think it should be able to evolve straight into the next form. Oh, look! Talking about Pokemon that are, uh, you know... You know... <laughs> a waste of... A waste of, um... Poke dollars, uh, Watts, even. And then we have this guy. I thought it would have done more. Don't tickle! Just imagining what a Tangler will look like when it tickles. God damn, that's scary. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, doubles power. So we're not going to bother you now. We're going to... Oh, I, I have not considered the state of my team. 
but I'm sure Bergy can take care of this. <laughs> right, so we can recover for full heal. Honestly, Bergy's defense is so high, a couple of tickles isn't really going to do much. There we go, full heal. And now we will bury it in an avalanche. Because avalanche is a special attack, so the attack drops do not affect it at all. Oh my god, it is... I guess Bergy's special attack isn't great either, is it? It most certainly is not. But I'm pretty sure Avalanche is physical. Right? Yeah, it is physical. So this Tangler just... So that's why... But we still beat it. Because it is a critical hit, of course. A regular hit wouldn't have done it much at all. Amoongus. Why it would go out of its way to make itself look like a Pokemon? I don't know. I'm sure it has its reasons. I'm not going to judge. Maybe it wants to ambush stupid trainers who get confused. It's like, oh, it's a Pokeball. I don't need that. Oh, no, it's actually a fungus. Looks like everything in this forest is going to be um, toxic. Going for a solar beam. Because I'm a nice type, that's not going to be super effective. Ugh. I think it's quite interesting how there's a, a, a number of Pokemon and inanimate objects that are given life somehow. Oof. Well, there's no denying the fact that it's, um, that its special defense does not help it against a Pokemon like that. Oh, there's Bergy leveling up. Well, I think it's about time we start healing the team up. They're really taking a bit of a beating. So, full restore. Full restore. Full restore. Full restore. Actually, Moo Moo Milk for Susie. Of course, full restore. Oh, it does fully restore HP. Never mind. I thought it thought it didn't anymore. But the team's all set to continue our journey through the forest. There's, a, there's their regular mushrooms, just no special ones. Blast, I've gotten disoriented. Well, Warm-up tunnel isn't this way, is it not? Oh yeah, it's a dead end. Got a leaf stone. Hello. I have a Pikachu. I don't have to worry about that. So the warm-up tunnel, I don't think it's this way either. There's a Diglett. Daily. <laughs> Seven more Diglett in this forest, so it's another small area. If I bought back Fungus instead of Max Mushrooms, do you think they'd notice? Well, I don't know what the actual f mushrooms look like, so maybe? Possibly? The training lowlands. Right, okay, I wasn't supposed to be here. 
This forest of focus leads to a lot of different places on the island, doesn't it? Whoa. Wonder what the odds of me encountering a shiny here are gonna be. Well, the poison point's fine because you just doubled my facade's power now. Ow. I mean, I guess a part of this DLC's difficulty is the fact that there aren't as many healing spots as there were in the main game. But, you know, leveling up a strong party is not difficult in this game. So the fact that they bother with an experience booster just seems a bit silly to me. Susie's just going to be slow forever, isn't she? You definitely know you don't want her to be slow. You don't want her to have a speed buff for her nature. I mean, you can change your Pokemon's nature in this game. But it's not really, you know important. I've searched the forest for fo focus high and low, but there's no sign of any max mushrooms. Could they be growing somewhere else? I mean, I do find it funny that I'm told that they uh, they are. I want to get to the training lowlands, but this isn't the right way to go. Why would you go there? You're not meant to go there, are you? Maybe I was meant to. Oh, there's another tower. So yeah, just in case you didn't already realize, the Isle of Armour is just a big wild area. There's no roots or anything. Woohoo, we got a miracle seed. A seed of miracles. I believe in miracles. So let's go up here, right? Because I was directed towards a cave. Oh, oh, there it is. There's the cave. Mill tank. <laughs> I do love that there's actually a censored episode of Pokemon because of drinking from a meal tank's teeth. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean for that to happen. Marnie will do just fine for this fight, though. Especially with a bit of intimidation. The intimidation strat. I'm not going to leave it dead, I'm going to revive it. But I really need to... Oh no. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yes. Yes, drink it from the cow's teats, the mill tanks. That episode got banned for, I suppose, obvious reasons. <laughs> Because as you know, a mill tank's milk has healing properties. I don't know, maybe guess the um, four kids just thought it was inappropriate. I guess. <sighs> Boy, this mill tank is a tank. Ow! Well, at least it didn't paralyze me. But I think my attack's been lowered. I haven't been paying attention. Uh, Susie! This might be a mistake! Oh, charm! Okay, that's supposed to be what used on a uh, Marnie. Uh... How about we go for a magic powder? Ow.
No, that's a psychic type. <laughs> Maybe if it was a black or yellow one, it might not stand out as much, but I guess I see the point. Psychic! Haha, <laughs> didn't matter. Critical hit, god damn it. Susie. Well, Baneri leveled up, that's good. So we have found the Cave of Wonders. There's a Tauros. Absorb Bulb. Oh, Kangaskhan. Oh, sweet. <laughs> There's no way that Bun Bun will be able to handle this. Not a chance. Gotta fight, fight you, know, you gotta fight strength with strength, I guess. Go, Bergy! <laughs> you call that an attack? This is an attack! Oh, okay, you go first then. This is an attack! Nice. But that was a critical hit, so, you know. Braced itself. That's fine. Oh good, it endured the hit, that's what I wanted. Uh, what could we go for? Has a low success rate for catching Pokemon. Go on then! <laughs> yeah. Oof. There you go. Now the reversal actually does something. It gets stronger the more damage your Pokemon has, so... It's better to catch Pokemon that are at a lower level than your own. That's just what... that's what it might know! There we go. as you know I did finish um, Toko's route in Akiba Strip and I said I might consider um, doing a few more routes on it you know what I, I will I mean there's not many other games I have that I want to stream right now so might as well yeah uh, alright okay um Angelica <laughs> or Kangelica. <laughs> I mean, I suppose a Kangaskhan would be a pretty decent Pokemon to add to my party, but I'd rather get some stage ones and get them up that way. Give me the milk. Moo moo milk. Scroopy. Ooh, Scyther. And Pinsir as well. Um, I suppose I better restore Bergy because his ice moves are going to be important. Uh, energy root. It's Scyther! Okay, let's um, go for the um, swap to Bergy.
If I come across physical attackers, Bergy is definitely the way to go. These powerful moves that only do like 40 damage to him. Yep. Oh, but then this sword stance, right? Cypher's signature move is sword stance, if I remember correctly. Nice. Pokeball, go! Ah. Still does a decent amount, but not too bad. Yeah, let's go for it. I was going to say, do I have Ultra Balls? I do, but it's just not sorted. Ultra Ball, go! Oh my gosh. Uh oh. That guarantees a critical hit. Unless you have an ability that nullifies those said critical hits. Ah, see, see, I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, and then it just goes and you swords dance in the end. Okay, okay, you do that. I'm quite afraid of it now. It could probably one shot Lapras. Oh. Yeah, I just, just I was just taking a drink when that happened. And there's the cap hitting the microphone. All right, now I can get a scissor. If I had so much to trade with, I could do that. A cipher fights more and more battles. Its sides become sharper and sharper. With a single slice, cipher can fell a massive tree. Yep. Uh, so what should we call him? Uh. Scythe. Um. Normally, just adding a, <laughs> a sort of part of a name to a Pokemon's name is the one I go for when it comes to this. Scyther! Or Scythe. <laughs> Scythe. Why not? Um, now we already have a bug. So I send this one to a box. We've got Pinsir as well, but I'm not as fond of Pinsir. As soon as it got Mega Evolution, it sort of became sort of viable, but... Oi, oi, we don't get too many trends out in these parts. They call me a digging pa. You've met the digging duo, or they be my sons. Haven't got any arm right or have you? You know, that's a rare type of rock the Alabama's known for. If you just give us a few pieces of that ore, I'll put the final muscle straight to work. Digging up you loads of watts. You know, our meeting feels like a real stroke of luck. If you like, I'll give you some watch for free to mark the occasion. You just need to jot down your progress first. Yep. Digging pa and digging ma. Right then, here goes. 2,000 watts. Yes. 8,000 watts. Yes. Oh, see that there. 12,000 watts. That's certainly a way to get them. Aw. I was just like, what's this cubo doing on it so? Two more diglets in the warm up tunnel. Thick club. An item to be held by Q Bone or Marowak. It's a hard bone of some sort that boosts the attack stat. And funnily enough, I'm surrounded by these Q Bones, aren't I? So I guess I'll catch this Q Bone and add it to my party. Right, so first things first. Who do I swap out with? Guess Aria. It has Endeavor. Wow. That Cuban is strong. 
Maybe it actually has a thick club equipped. Um. Uh. See if we can catch it in a luxury ball. Go on, you want to live a life of luxury, don't you? Hey! <laughs> That's it. Alright. When it's the, when the memory of its departed mother brings it to tears, it cries echo mournfully within the skull it wears on its head. Boy, Cubone really is a depressing Pokemon, isn't it? Cubina. So we'll drop Bergy. So first thing we do, I wonder if it actually does have, oh it didn't, okay. So we can give it one and make it even stronger. A uh, cube ball would have been fine, but it's a female. Maybe cube bell might have been better. But that's what, I, what we've got for. Thick club. There you go. I have a feeling, because I have a female trainer, more female Pokemon are drawn to me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. We got a TR. Stealth Rock. I'm on a catching spree here. <gasps> Sandshrew! It's a Sandshrew, and there is a Diglett. Ta da! One more Diglett, and we're done. Is everything even at level 60? I can't even. I haven't seen anything else other than that. Yeah, um, when you get to the Elite Four, well, I guess to the um, the Pokemon tournament at the end of the game, every Pokemon in the wild area is level 60. It's just to help with leveling up, really. Right. Aria! Basically, if I had played this DLC during the campaign before I got all the um, gym badges, I would have seen Pokemon of various levels, but as of right now, you know. In the post-game, everything's level 60 in the wild area, which is what the Isle of Armor is, a giant wild area. wonder how long it'll take Bun Bun to get the... Um, friendship she needs. Wow. It's really short, isn't it? There it is. There's the last one. We found all the ones in the warm-up tunnel. Da! You found all the Diglett that are in the warm-up tunnel. Hooray for me. Bit of energy. Not a lot. Some Sandile. Braviary. Crocodile. Rocky Helmet. Pretty much every stage of the um, of the Sandile lines out here. I suppose it's the same for the Cubo, the Rhyhorn line as well. Smooth Rock. Stardust Bags. The desert areas seem to be where you'll find all the um, money-making stuff. 2,000 watts. Ah! This is that special Pokémon that you can only battle that's appeared in the anime recently. So no, I'm not going to do that. I think my team, for a... Um, 
For a five-star den, I think my team have to be at least level 80. Not a chance. Why is it Miracle Seed out in the desert, of all places? And a Flame Orb. Well, that makes a little more sense. Comet Shards, they're worth a lot of money. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a Jangmo O. At least that's what I think it's called. Right, so. It's a dragon, so Aria would probably be the best choice. Oh. Oh, that's cute. That's very cute. Ice Beam. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jangomo. Or Jangmo. There's Arya's level 66. I suppose Marnie would have been a good choice to catch one of those if I wanted. But Marnie has also taken some damage, so we'll want to fully restore her just in case. It does more damage than I fear. Give us some fresh milk. Keep that iron strong. Okay, Marnie, you're up. Intimidate is very useful. Dragon Dance. Oh no! Attack and speed boost. Well, we'll play rough. Noble Roar. Well, at least that doesn't make me run away. Attack and special attack fell though. Still one shot it. Well, this is not that the game wants me to get one of these. Protector. I believe that's how you get um, Rhyperia. Oh, good. We've been using revives. What's a Chansey doing out here? Well, it's a free level up. For a number of my Pokemon, so might as well. Let's see what you do. Double kick! Wow. Physical attack is really bad, isn't it? Why do you have to do why you have to go do that? It knows double kick is too strong. Oh, now it's going to attack. <laughs> See, it may only have a low attack stat, but it still did about half of the remaining HP. But it's dead. Got to crack a few eggs to make an omelette. Bun Bun and Ventus. We should evolve Ventus now, I believe. Yep. Here we go. Now it is a swirly peed. Or a whirly peed. <laughs> Close enough. This Pokemon spins itself rapidly and charges into its opponents. Its top speed is just over 60 miles per hour. Clearly took some information from um, Wheelie. Iron Defense. 
How is its defense? Very high. This attack, special attack, and speed of a poison target. Let's get rid of agility. I can't believe I've been streaming for an hour already. Doesn't feel that long. Reversal. One right attack becomes more powerful the less HP the user has. Oh. You see, I'm sure Diglett are really hard to find here. So I don't even gonna bother. But I don't know where I go from here. It seems to be a dead end. I think it is. You know what? I think it is a dead end. Yeah. Oh, there's a Diglett. Detona! Let's roll away. <laughs> Nine more Dignit in the desert. What? Such a small area though. When these particle effects are really making it difficult for me to see where I'm meant to be going with items that are hidden. Some wild max mushrooms. Hold up a sec. Oh look, it's her. <laughs> Hello, what's this? Three max mushrooms in one spot? Here, I thought I'd need to go find them one by one. I saw those mushrooms first, I swear. <laughs> I've been at the dojo longer and all, so it's only fair that you let me have them, right? <laughs> Sure, you can have them. <laughs> Wait, what's this now? Are you giving me attitude? Pitying me, are you? No, I was just gonna let you have them. Gosh, you're a pain in the neck. Just show up out of nowhere and just happen to be young and talented? If you're looking to get in my way, well, I think some vile poisons will take care of that. <laughs> she is really, really nasty piece of work, isn't she? <laughs> Slow poke. Let's set the record straight right here. I'll show you once and for all that I'm the better trainer. Well, I don't really have a good... I did not expect to battle right now, so... I'm not in a great spot. But, I do have a Pokemon that's immune to poison moves, so... Might as well give her a spin. Nice Intimidate. I mean, it still has Poison. It still has Psychic, I guess, but I'm also resistant because of the Steel typing. <laughs> Iron Head. Oof. Did not do as much as I hoped it would. And again. Flinch it again. Ah. I think I'll put Cuba now after this. That was easy. And a level up for Marnie, not that she needed it. Coughing. Wait, does coughing have levitate? <laughs> it probably does. I might as well just see. Because cause, Granite's resistant to poison anyway, so. Bone Meringue. Yep. <laughs> Can it still fight, though? It has a lot of double edged moves. Double edge. 
Nice. Right, maybe Assurance will take it out now. Or Endeavor will take it out now. Endeavor! <laughs> Not even close. Rest in peace, Cubina. Oh, she survived! Wow. She's gonna kill herself. With the double edge. Yep. <laughs> Well, rest in peace. Let's get Susie out to finish this job, shall we? She's only got stage one Pokemon, so fully evolved powerful ones. Am I really gonna lose again? Is there just something wrong with me? Oh, she has a Whirlipede. I should have done a Whirlipede battle if I'd known. Go get him, knock him flat, and give him a little venom for good measure. Poison tail. <laughs> oh, look at that. My attack worked just great. Now get ready for another dose. I'm sorry, but this, this fight's over. <laughs> oh, fine. Hit you through our weakness. What are you, super effective move machine? <laughs> yep. What have you got that I don't? A little bit of class for one. <laughs> and I don't know if you know this, but I'm the champion. Ah, why can't I win? I'm trying as hard as I can. What am I missing? Fine, you can have those silly mushrooms. I'm going to find better ones anyway. So there. Yeah. <laughs> She's a real sore loser, ain't she? Three clusters of max mushrooms. Mushrooms that have the power to changing Dynamax forms. They'll boost all stats of a Pokemon during battle. Oh, my phone. Hello, hello. Is this you, Minus Phone? How's the trial coming along, love? Easy peasy. You mean you've already managed to find three Max Mushrooms? I've been checking in on everybody's progress, but it seems you're, the first, you're in first place once again. You really are our new rising star, aren't you? I suppose I'd better go put the pot on the stove. You be careful on your way back. Ciao. I figured I'd at least complete one of the trials before I move on to Tales of Berseria. <laughs> oh, seven pieces. Right, I don't want you to do that. I've got plenty of what's thanks to your previous attempt. Much obliged, sir. Right. Well, fortunately, we have the ability to fast travel, so let's just go straight back, shall we? But it wants me to go in the Fields of Honor first. Well, okay, this is the quickest... Well, I guess it isn't necessarily the quickest way there. Oh. Ah, oh, man. This game sure does live giving you easy ways to get loads of what you need. There she is. No, that's, no, that's her again. Oh my gosh, I saw the most awesome Pokemon ever. <sighs> Am I really going to do this again? Fuck it. Have a look then. Feast your eyes on its awesome splendor. Okay, Carvana, that's not too bad. Is that not completely, totally awesome? You'll find different Pokemon to the weather, so make sure you search every day. Thank you very much. I mean, it wanted me to go to the Fields of Honor. So why would it not have any event there? I don't get it. Man, can't wait to have that soup. 
Hey there, Yumina. Welcome back. Looks like you nailed the trial. Congrats on finding the max mushrooms. Trial number two was no problem for you. All of my other students ended up getting lost in the forest. Turns out finding max mushrooms were the least of their problems. It's a shame, but I guess everyone other than Yumina will fail the trial. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> well, first things first, a proper meal. Let's have those max mushrooms made into a delicious max soup, shall we? I don't even have my starter on me, so... Mmm, mmm, mmm. I've really outdone myself this time. Now that all that's left is to add those lovely max mushrooms you bought us. <sighs> Miss Honey, please wait! Why, Clara, what in the world has gotten into you? I've never seen you in such a flutter. <sighs> I've got some max mushrooms too. Oh, nice work, Clara. You must have searched hard for those. That makes you the second person to pass the second trial. Wow, I did it! I did it! <laughs> oh, she's so happy. Oh, chin up, darling, Clara. You did it. This is a cause for celebration. Master, Miss Honey, please can I ask for something? Just this once. I want you to use my Max Mushrooms in the Max Soup. I really want to share my hard work with everybody here. Oh, Clara. Well, if that's all you're after, then I'm perfectly happy to oblige. Though this is hardly the first time you've asked for something. I rather doubt it'll be the last. Miss Honey. <laughs> I hope you don't feel like the fund is being stolen, Yumina. But we're a family here, and families share, so we'll go ahead and use Clara's Mushrooms today. It's just so rare for her to try hard at something. I really want to reward that. You understand, don't you? You can hold on to the max mushrooms you found. I'm sure you'll find a good use for them. Oh, and don't worry. You still totally passed the trial with flying colors. Think of those max mushrooms as an extra reward. Nice, thank you. <laughs> it even has the clouds around it. All right, everybody, soup's on. The famous max soup of the Master Dojo. Well, I'm famished. Time to dig in. Let's eat. You enjoyed the Mac soup. Oh, I never did explain the big deal about the soup, did I? You see, when one drinks this dojo's famous Mac soup, you feel Dynamax energy welling up from inside of you. No, you don't. That kind of thing doesn't happen if a human has the soup. <laughs> but things are a bit different when certain Pokemon drink the soup. You see, there are some Pokemon that have dis distinct potential. And when they drink the soup, their Dynamax form will change into a Gigantamax form. I'll keep one on our lads, one of our lads in the kitchen on soup duty from now on too. So you can ask him to serve up a fresh bowl of Max soup whenever you need. So this basically means I can make any Pokemon that has the capability to Gigantamax a Gigantamax Pokemon. So I don't have to actually farm them from the points. That's very cool. Now then, let's wrap things up. You all did your best on the second trial, and I'm proud of everyone here. And last but not least, thanks for the soup, honey. Thanks for the soup, Miss Honey. Well, when they say that, I think Matilda. <laughs> By the way, Yumina, meet me in my room when you have a moment. Oh no. <laughs> what did I do? Don't worry, the kid on soup duty knows what he's doing. I'm sure I, I made sure I taught him well. Oh, Clara's in here as well. Hmm. Did the master call for you too? All right. Because we're the only ones who passed the two trials so far, I guess. There you are, Yumina, Clara. Thanks for coming. So, what's this all about, Master? Why did you want? What did you want to tell us? Right. Well, I've decided that you two will now take the Master Jojos. Last, final, ultimate third trial. The final, last, ultimate third trial? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> uh, so basically, this is the last trial? Ah, well, yes. That's the gist of it. You two are the only ones who successfully finished the second trial. You've pushed each other to greater heights and helped each other grow. So I'd say it's time to finally see who is stronger in a Dynamax Pokemon battle. We're going to battle. That's the last trial. Yep, the rules are simple. Whoever wins will complete the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. This is it, finally. But can I? The battle will be held in the battle court behind the Master Dojo. The court is a power spot, so you can Dynamax to your heart's content. 
Uh, I've got to get going. I need to go there right away to prepare my pure heart for this. I'll be going ahead, okay? You can laze about like a slowpoke and take as much time as you need. Hmm. Clara. She's got talent, that's for sure. But it's caused her to slack off. She's never felt the need to try hard at anything, I guess. Even with her training here at the dojo, I can tell she's been doing just the bare minimum. But things have changed since you arrived, Yumina. Maybe you've helped awaken some sort of passion and drive in her, eh? Still, I only hope that motivation isn't put towards anything mischievous. I don't know, Clara does seem the mischievous type, if you ask me. Yeah, it does, thank you. I just wish there was a PC around here I, I could use. Oh yeah, Susie can Dynam can Gigantamax, so maybe I can give her one. Yumina, do you want to give your Pokemon Max Soup? Yep. Which Pokemon do you want to give Max Soup to? Oh, I can give it to Alcremie as well. Susie, please. If this Hatterene drinks Max Soup, it'll be capable of Gigantamaxing. I'll use three clusters of Max Mushrooms to make the soup. Is that alright? So I guess there are more to find. And if not, I've just used it. Hatterene is now capable of Gigantamaxing. Cool. Well, that's pretty cool, that is. Especially if you can make all your Pokemon Gigantamax this way. I'll lead with Cubina. I mean, I know she uses poison types, so I probably could come up with a team that can counter poison types. I've got three that can counter them, so I guess I'm alright. I'm more than ready to take her on now, considering she doesn't have a fully evolved Pokemon yet. Although she probably does now. Being the final trial. You're here. When I beat you, I'll get the secret armor. And then I'll become a poison type gym leader. I've got to win no matter what. I'm gonna go all out and totally beat you. You ready? Absolutely. So she wants to be a gym leader. Looks like the two of you are ready. Good luck. I'm cheering for you both. Alright you two, take your places. The Master Dojo's final trial. Ready? <laughs> and go! Alright, Clara. I can't believe you battle her t two times in quick succession. And now she's got a Skaroopy. Cubina. I'm not holding a single thing back anymore. Time to settle this fair and square. Oh, and maybe watch your step. Looks like some toxic spikes somehow got on the battle court. Wow, what a cheat. Boomerang. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I think it goes to show how desperate she is to win, that she's willing to cheat. How come it's neutral? I thought it had done better than that. Alright, we'll boomerang again. Cubina can land. Ah! Oh! BS. I have no guilt of using items then. Absolutely none. Wow, 
well. I don't want to go into the bag again. Yeah. How'd you like them apples? I do have some ultimate Pokemon in case my new caught ones fail. Well, it looks like we're having to swap out already. If I remember correctly, Weezing is a very defensive Pokemon, so... We're gonna swap out for Susie. Of course, the poison. Hate her so much. Clear smog. Super effective, huh? Aha, that's right. Let my poison drive you clear crazy. I don't have any stat changes, though, so it's alright. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, my dear Pokemon. I should have given you better directions, but hang in there. You've got this. I can't help being better than you, Clara. Even when you cheat. Whirlipede. Psychic. All right, Poison Tail. I forget Susie's slower, so she might get KO'd. Oh, if that was just a critical, then I'm all right then. Cubina. She survived, thank God. We're gonna keep him in. There's no way I'm losing. I ain't letting go till the bitter end. <laughs> it's got it on its hand. Full restore, I give no fucks. Here she goes. Watch out audience, one dose of Clara poison and there's no turning back. At least it's only Gigamax, not Gigantamax. That's just regular Dynamax, I should say. They say the dose of poison, so have seconds. Here's a full course of Feast of Venom. Ah, this isn't good. Oof. Yeah, my Hatterene cannot fight this thing. Oh, you're gonna boost your special attack as well. God damn. Alright then. <laughs> you can waste your Dynamax while I, st I was trying to stall you. It doesn't affect Marnie. <laughs> well, look who's just got a type matchup, Master. Ain't that nice for you? Let's go for the Iron Head. Max Geyser. I should have realized he'd do something like that. Just endured it as well again. It's all fine then. Full restore Susie. Gigantamaxer. Oh. Move faster. I don't get it. What, what, what did that even do? It's alright, Marnie. You've done what I need you to do. I'm 
Yes. Of course, the poison happens. And a max, max mind storm. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Hope you don't mind. Max Mind Storm! <laughs> Absolutely decimated. The battlefield got weird. Ventus is going to become its final form as well. Woohoo! <laughs> but I didn't hold back. I gave it everything I've got. Nice. Unfortunately, you didn't have what it took. Oh, and Cubone's evolving. <laughs> wow, double evolution. Been evolved into Marowak. Marowak state will be added to the Pokedex. This Pokemon overcame its sorrow to evolve a sturdy new body. Marowak faces its opponents bravely using a bone as a weapon. Woohoo! Ventus is evolving. Your Ventus evolved into Scolia... Scolipid. Scolipede? Yeah. Scolipede latches onto its prey with the claws on its neck before jamming them in with the ground and jabbing with its claws toxic spikes. It's pretty savage. The victor has been decided! The one to complete the third trial is... You, Yumina! Hooray! Hooray! That was amazing! What a fierce battle! Oh, well done. You both gave it your all. Oh man, I totally lost. Ha! Well, this stinks. I do everything, even cheat a little, and still lose. I don't expect a young, talented kid like you to really get it, but... I really was trying, you know? As hard as I could. Maybe it's time for me to just give up on my dream of being a gym leader. Once they find out what I did, I'll be expelled from the dojo anyway. Yumina, you can tell the master that I cheated. Nah, I won't. Huh? B but why? It was supposed to be a fair battle, and I cheated just so I could win. That's your strength, Yumina. Kindness towards both your Pokemon and your rivals. M master I should apologize on Clara's behalf, too, as her master. What she did was wrong, but she just didn't want to be beaten by her rival, that's all. She's a good, hard-working student. <laughs> master, thank you. I'm sorry, Yumina. As for your punishment, Clara, you're going to look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months, by yourself. <laughs> What? I, I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, but is that all? Of course! Let's work on strengthening your heart. Uh, okay. Martin, that's a bit racist of you. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Things are settled here. I'm so proud of you both. You must have so much effort and tried so hard. I got so teared up that I couldn't even see half the battle, but, I saw, but what I saw was amazing. So moving. I'm tearing up. Yumina. You gave it your best and triumphed, even when faced with an unfair challenge. To you who has completed all the trials, I grant the secret armor of the Master Dojo. 
It'll take some time to prepare, so I'll go ahead and get things sorted. Martin, I flub my line. <laughs> I do that often, you know, you've watched enough now. I do flub my line sometimes. And that's all, gang, as you were. Yumina. Um, I, well, you got Clara's lead card. You put the lead card in your album. You're really strong. Thank you. Let's see the... Wait, no, no, I don't want to do that. I wanted to see the album. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Um, album. <laughs> of course she has an album card like that. I love B. She's so cute. She's normally got a stern, tough look on her face, but when that softens, it's just... Oh, it's really cute. Kabu. And Nessa. Ooh, vanilla chocolate. That's a really nice combination, don't you think? Peter's Jory. And that's my little brother. <laughs> when I got his card, anyway. I really need to get Marnie's card. Her updated rare card, even, because. I, you know, I, Marnie's really cool. I really like her. Ah, there you are, Yumina. Keeping this old man waiting, hmm? Since you've completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Now then, come on out! Wait, that's armor? What? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> scary! <laughs> it's a stranger and strangers are scary! <laughs> Bear? This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Cub Fu! I know, I know, it's tiny. But raise it with diligence and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle. Just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking, Yumina, maybe if it joins you on your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So take good care of Cub Fu, okay? It's in your hands now. Alright, come here, little guy. Go on, it's fine. <laughs> and this is a legendary Pokemon, by the way. <laughs> I just love that, that frumpy face it has all the time. Cubfu's data will be added to the Pokedex. The Wushu Pokemon. Cubfu trains hard to perfect its moves. The moves its masters will determine which form it takes when it evolves. Well, yeah, every Pokemon I have has a nickname. Although Cubfu is a bit of a <laughs> lazy name, but I suppose when you have over 900 Pokemon, it can be hard to come up with names for them all. I mean, this nickname's probably going to be pretty bad. <laughs> Chan. Oh look, it's level 10. <laughs> well, I'll add it to my party anyway. I should keep two of my championship team with me at least. Alright, Aria, you're gone. Now then. 
The first thing you do is to, do, is to become best friends with Kung Fu. You need to build trust. Kung Fu hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo, so... Maybe it'll help you become better friends if you let it have a look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armour. I'll have my students standing at a good spot, so just keep an eye out. <laughs> and of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly towards each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball here on the Isle of Armour. You can now let the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together. Go and take a stroll with Kubfu, why don't you? Once you're best buddies, we'll start Kubfu's training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you think you're ready. Alright, Chan. Let's go. But I think I need the Pokemon that I want to evolve out in the party first. Oh yeah, camping also is a good way to boost friendship as well. Here we are. Yay! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Alright, a loaf of bread. Oh, thanks, thanks for that. The question is, how did it get in my pocket? I'm just wondering, can I talk to my Pokemon? There you go. He seems happy. Wow, I can see through this rock. <laughs> right, let's have a look for more chances. Seems to be many Boneries around at the moment. Jigglypuffs and Boneries everywhere. No chances around here though, unfortunately. Well, I guess I'll stop playing here for today. Um, hopefully I'll get my um, Lopany and Kubfu friendly next stream. So uh, we'll take a quick BRB and then we'll play Tales of Berseria again. And depending on how long I play that, I may play a bit, a bit of a bonus game. Depending on how much time I've got left. Probably won't be a lot, but you know, be right back.